Can a business analyst become a data analyst? Yes, and you might think that's a really obvious answer, and if so, maybe this isn't the video for you. But even though I've addressed it in the past in different videos, I wanted to make a dedicated video to talk about this because I still frequently get this question from people. They're maybe not sure what field to go into or they're already working as a business analyst and not quite sure whether they can make a transition into a data analyst role either now or in the future as they're looking at their long-term business analyst career path options. If you've seen my video on business analysts versus data analysts, you already know some of the key differences between the role. While the work itself can sometimes be quite similar, business analysts are really focused on analyzing processes, organizations, systems, or problems through a business lens. On the other hand, data analysts are focused more on analyzing the data and the connection to the business often is secondary. I think the best implemented data analyst positions are closer to a business analyst role though, in that they may be significantly more technical, but they're connected to business objectives. These people are very tied in. They're not just some computing machines that are analyzing information. They're really tied to what the business is trying to accomplish. For most business analysts looking to transition into a data analyst role, the main area that they're going to be lacking is the technical skills. They may have some knowledge of a programming language, but maybe not that in depth, or they might know some of the analytics tools like Tableau or Power BI, but often aren't necessarily the strongest, the, the most skilled in those areas. You may be the exception, some people are. There are business analysts that are more technical, but for most people making the switch, this is going to be the biggest area to focus. And second to that would likely be some math skills, especially more advanced statistics, where we get into topics like regression analysis, where we talk about forecasting with more complex models. Those are things that someone that's switching from a business analyst to a data analyst role may need to work on. This is all going to be unique to the individual, depending on where you decided to focus or what exact role you've been in and tools you've been using as a business analyst, you may already know all of that, in which case it's really more of a matter of applying to new positions and making the switch over. If you aren't that familiar with these tools or you've used them, but you're not really an expert, I'd suggest learning them as you go, learning them on the job and using it to expand your capabilities and what you're already doing. It's always excellent in an interview or on a resume when you can talk about all of these skills in the context of a job. It gives more confidence to the hiring manager, to the hiring HR team, to the people interviewing you, that you can connect all of these skills that you've learned into the business. And that's something that I've talked about in a past video, that one of the skills most new data analysts lack is making the connection of everything they've learned into the business and into the business objectives. So you have that advantage of already being in an analytical position where you can pull in more of those skills, you can demonstrate them in the business, uh, especially if you have access to the tools at work. If you don't, still use those techniques in whatever tools you have. So you could still look at doing better visualization. You could still do analysis that you summarize in better ways in tools that you have available at your current company or in your current role. It's not uncommon for people to transition from business analysts to data analyst roles and vice versa for data analysts to become business analysts. It really depends on the company's implementation of the role, exactly what each person is going to be doing because this does differ company to company and it depends on you and what you're interested in and if you want to be more slightly higher level with a business analyst role on the business side or if you really enjoy the more technical, in which case a data analyst role might make a little more sense for you. Regardless of which you choose, don't feel like you're locked in. You have the flexibility to move back and forth throughout your career. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you'll join me back here next week.